This is a books. And this is the brand new Kindle Scribe. I'm going to do a small comparison. So this is going to be a short video, but I'm going to compare the two and what I like about both of them and what uh, maybe my dislikes are. Now, like I said, the books, I picked this up going on about eight months ago. One of the things I loved about it was this side island because I can hold it like this and not have to worry about my fingers making the pages move or my notes do funky things and stuff because you have this side island. The first generation Kindle, when it came out, did not have that. It was simply a Kindle. And I, I kind of I, I had a little issue with that. Well, the new generation came out. You'll notice now has this little side island here for you to hold your fingers on. So you can do it right hand or left hand. The screen will orientate to accommodate you. Now, that is one of the pros of both devices. Their writing methods are amazing. As you can see right here, this is the Kindle Scribe. And I go through and I show you each one of the different pens and its different thicknesses that you can write with. This is the books. Now I'm going to open up this one and show you how I use it in a work setting. I use this to take notes, create little mind maps and things like that. It works identical to the Kindle Scribe. The only difference is when it comes to the pens, you have a lot more selections with the books. You can do more with them. Whereas the Scribe, let's say you're going to use a fountain pen, it gives you five width, width options. If I choose the fountain pen on here, I can carry it all the way up to 20 different width options. And I have more different, more devices that I can use with this. Pens, pencils, crayons, map colors, just all these different ones that you can actually select and use with the books, but they both work amazing. Now, as far as the device itself, they are pretty much the exact same thickness. The first generation Kindle was a little bit thicker, and then this version came out, and I think, in all honesty, this version was released to be a direct competitor to the books. Now for the cons. The books, I really don't have any cons with it. Battery life is amazing. It lasts for a long time. Uh, the pencils work great. It's also color, color e-ink. Cons for the Kindle Scribe. It's not color e-ink. And it doesn't do like what the books does. The books is an Android operating system, meaning I can use Google Chrome, YouTube, anything that I can do on a regular mobile device or tablet, I can do on the books. It's just that it's e-ink. The refresh rates may be a little bit lower. On the Kindle Scribe, it's a book. It's made for you to use to take notes, education, learning, reading books, notes. You can play interactive like uh, word games and stuff like that on here from the libraries. Uh, I mean, you do have a pretty good selection, but the Kindle Scribe is an e-reader. It is an e-reader. I'm going home takes you to your Kindle library, shows you your library, you have notebooks, and then you go into more, and it's going to just give you lists of your books, Goodreads, web. Uh, it does have a web browser, but it's not like web browsing on an Android device. Now, I get a question that most people ask me 
when it comes to the Kindles or the Buxas. They're like, which device would you prefer? Which device are you going to buy over the other? And in all honesty, I will tell you this. I bought both because both have their places. This is kind of like my entertainment, the Kindle. I use this to read books for enjoyment or read books that I may be researching. Absolutely love it. I can take notes. I can do day-to-day to-do -day to lists. No problems. The books, I carry this with me in a work environment. As you can see from the different notes, doing some mind mapping and stuff, I use this for content creation because I am a content creator. I use this for doing my notes, communicating with other creators, writing things down. This is for my business. The Kindle Scribe is for enjoyment and entertainment. So, yeah, both of them, highly recommend it. So, that's my take on it today.